Crafty Caboodle. Let's get crafty today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to try to attempt to make a very luscious big chunky blanket. It's going to be awesome. So I got this very soft wool chunky yarn on Amazon. It is so soft. It has those big, big strands. Now this is 4.4 pounds of yarn. This does have some weight to it. We will see if I can make that big blanket to cover my whole self. All right. So I saw a really, really easy tutorial on Pinterest. So I'm going to go ahead and follow that and see if we can make this. So let's get started. We're gonna start out by unwinding most of this yarn. Wow, this is so soft. It's like a pillow. Let's keep going. It's gonna be a lot of yarn. All right, I think this is about half of this big, big ball. So now I'm just gonna flip it over. We're gonna find the end piece. All right, so we're gonna start out. You're gonna grab the end of it. And if you're not familiar with crochet, I kind of forgot all of the terminology. I used to do it years and years ago, but you're gonna make a loop. I'm following on with my screen right there. So you're gonna bring this behind. So it's kind of like a little loop. All right, now you're gonna put your hand through this hole and you're gonna grab this part of it and pull it through. So you've created a little knot. Is this called a slip knot? I forget. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Now don't make this end too long and not too short. So this is about three and a half inches, I would say. Now once you have this hole, you're gonna go ahead and put your hand through and make another knot. I think that's what it's called. And you're gonna continue doing this until you have a chain about, I don't know, we, we will see how many I decide to do. So again, go in through this hole, grab this piece of yarn, see how it looks? All right, this is how long it is. It kind of looks like a braid, doesn't it? All right, again, in through the hole and just pull it through. I don't know how long I want this to be yet. I think this is a good length right here. Let me count these two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so this is a chain of 15. I did one more. And let's see the next step that she does. Okay, so now the last one, you're gonna grab this, you're gonna pull it through. So now it looks like this. You're gonna grab these holes right here. So we're gonna start with this one. You're gonna pull it up just like that. And you're gonna continue doing this. So you're gonna find this other hole, pull it up. You're gonna do the same thing until you reach the end of your chain. These do look funny. They kind of look like ears popping out. So this row, we're all done. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our hand through this and do another loop. And guess what? We're gonna continue doing that throughout the whole entire row. So we're gonna make little ears again. So there should be 15 of this chain right here as well. We're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over again until we reach the top. And then I will show you the last step. I'm gonna point 
point out that this yard is very delicate, so be very, very gentle with it when you're pulling. Just make sure you're really babying it. So when you pull it through, don't tug at it. All right, you guys, this blanket is turning out awesome. I did not expect it to look this nice, but look, it's just a perfect size. So I would recommend doing the 4.4 pounds, but let me show you the last step on how to finish this off. All right, so I'm gonna see if we are gonna have enough. So this is the rest of it right here. What you wanna do is when you finish your last chain right here, you wanna grab your last hole right here, connect it to the second one and pull the yarn through. Now you wanna take this one and connect it to the next one, pull the yarn through, and you wanna continue doing that. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough. Okay, so let me go ahead and take out the last row because I don't think I'm gonna have enough. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna grab this hole right here, connect it with the second one, pull your yarn through, and we're gonna do that all the way until we reach the end. So this kind of ties off our blanket. All right, we're all done. This is our last hole, so how you finish it off. So we're gonna go ahead and cut a good chunk of this off. Just like so. You're gonna go ahead and put it through the hole and make a knot. Make sure it's nice and tight right there. All right, now you're gonna intertwine this throughout the rest of the blanket. So I just go in and out, out of these holes right here. And kind of go ahead and just tuck the end in right there. Okay, that looks awesome. Wow, this blanket turned out amazing. I mean, take a look at this. It's so soft, so big. This is the perfect amount, 4.4 pounds of this yarn to make a decent sized blanket. Now, if you want something bigger, I would say double lid. So all requires is time. It took me two hours from start to finish. It requires yarn, this soft, soft yarn. They have different colors. Again, I will have the link down below to go get this. So easy, anybody can do it. I hope yours is gonna turn out just as beautiful as this one. I hope I helped some of you. Until next time, bye.